Daily Encouragement for Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. The verse comes from Romans 8, 12 through 17, New King James. Sonship through the Spirit. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Family of God is the title of today's devotion. Sonship and slavery are poles apart. The slave serves out of fear because he must. The son serves out of love because he delights in pleasing his father. The son is free, a child in his father's house. The slave is at best a bondservant in his master's house. The son has a permanent place in the home. His future is secure because he is an heir. The slave is just a temporary resident. The Spirit of God is the spirit of sonship. The intimate cry, Abba, Father, is the evidence that he is working in our hearts. The enemy is always trying to get those who are privileged to be sons to serve as slaves. Bondage, fear, a distorted view of God, these are the characteristics of the Spirit with which he seeks to bewitch them and burden them again with a yoke of slavery. Galatians 3, 1 and 5, 1. We need to be on our guard. It is the death of our heavenly life to have hard thoughts of God, said Richard Baxter long ago. And the modern preacher, Thelic, Writing about the elder brother in the parable of the prodigal son remarks, What a wretched thing it is to call oneself a Christian and yet be a stranger and a grumbling servant in the Father's house. Pray with me. Abba, Father, loving Father God, we forget so easily sometimes how much you love us, not only to save us from eternal punishment and separation from you, but you make us sons and heirs, lifting us out of the depths of our corruption and sin, putting us on the same level as Christ to rule and reign with him forever. Never let us forget that, Lord. Rebuke, bind, and banish the enemy from taking that away and trying to make us believe a lie. Let your Holy Spirit bear witness to our spirits that we are your sons and daughters now and forever. Amen. All right. And uh, so the links are there if you want to check that out. And um, so give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. I'll leave a comment, question, prayer request. We actually do have a prayer request uh, for Miss Brenda. She's not feeling so well. So um, Heavenly Father, we lift up our dear sister, Miss Brenda. Lord, she's having difficulties with her health, and she needs a special touch from you, Lord. Bring healing to her body, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. By his blood he shed on the cross. We agree together for this dear sister and ask in faith on her behalf. Give her doctors wisdom and insight toward her treatment and bring complete healing. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So you guys have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.